Hi, Linda Bowen here from StampingWithLinda.com, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today is, of course, Tuesday at a creative fold, and I am sharing this card that was submitted to me for my team challenge. They were to use designer series paper and to create a card. And isn't this just so beautiful? So I wanted to teach you this fold. I had never seen this done. Um, this card is made from one eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. And I'm going to bring in my personal trimmer. And this card was uh, number one in my team uh, for the challenge. And Denise from Buffalo uh, received a $75 gift certificate for me for um, this card that she submitted. So again, I wanted to show how she made this eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, she scored it at the two and three quarter, the five and a half, and the eight and a quarter. Then she flipped it to the eight and a half side and scored at the four and a quarter. And then what she did was she cut between um, the three score lines. So we're going to bring our cutter blade up and we're going to start right on that score line, score through the center and down to the third score line. So you have a piece that looks like this with a hole in the middle. And this of course is um, your card and it's going to measure the standard four and a quarter by five and a half. But in order to get um, that window effect in the center, I'm going to bring in my big shot. And what she did was used the layering scallops, or excuse me, layering ovals. Okay, let me find all my pieces for my big shot. So I got my platform, my thin adapter, my cutting uh, plate. And then what she did was we need to cut the oval on both of these sides. So she folded the card up like so. I'm going to lay that on the big shot. And then we're going to bring in that oval. And we want to make sure that we have a space at the bottom so that it hides our grids. So you want that oval more up towards the top. And we're going to put, I'm going to see if I can find some washi tape here to hold that framelit in place so that it doesn't move around. So I'm just going to grab a little piece and put that right there again just to help hold that in place and run that through now when Denise did her card I'm going to bring it back in I am not making the whole card I just want you to um, see how she did this I see that I removed my um, mat from my uh, space so it's a little bit harder to run my big shot and my table here. But let's bring that in and I'm going to show you that Denise put, oh no she didn't, on this one she did not. She, she left, she used the Whisper White and so she cut that oval out. So we've got this and then what you have is your card like so. And let's move our score lines back and forth. And so there you have it. Your card is all made out of eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. Isn't that fun? Of course you're going to tape these sides down. What she did then was she had a, a piece of three inch by three and three quarter and we're going to bring in that trimmer again and we are going to score a half inch on each 
side of the three and a quarter and then we are going to cut our half inch strips. So two, three, Now you can make do as many as you want. Um, I'm just going to stop there. And then what we need to do is we're going to bring in um, our piece. And I found that if I used glue dots, it worked best for me. And you want to start building. So we're going to put adhesive down here and then we're going to start building right at the bottom. So let me go ahead and find my glue dots. And I'm just going to put a glue dot at each of the tips. Again, you want to glue this down um, so that your card is permanently down. And then we're just going to add that and why I'm not going to put it down I'm actually going to decorate this um, so I just want to show you what it looks like so there we've got our grid in here I'm going to bring Denise's card back up um, so you can see and you're just going to build right on top of those isn't that the funnest card um, all done with an eight and a half by 11. So congratulations, Denise, and um, have a good day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.